Big Blue Whale, written by Nicola Davis and illustrated by Nick Mayland. Big Blue Whale. The blue whale is big, bigger than a giraffe, bigger than an elephant, bigger than a dinosaur. The blue whale is the biggest creature that has ever lived on earth. It says female blue whales are a little bigger than the males. Blue whales can grow to over 30 metres long and weigh 140 tonnes. That's heavier than 25 elephants or 115 giraffes. Reach out and touch the blue whale's skin. It's springy and soft like a hard-boiled egg and as slippery as wet soap. Look into its eye. It's as big as a teacup and as dark as the deep sea. Just behind the eye is a hole, as small as the end of a pencil. The hole is one of the big blue whale's ears. Sticking out ears would get in the way when a whale was, is swimming. In deep water, there isn't much light and it's hard to see. So blue whales use their sense of hearing and their sense of touch to find their way around. The blue whale lives all its long life in the sea, but it is a mammal like us and it breathes air, not water. From time to time, it has to come up to the surface to breathe through the blowholes at the top of its head. When it breathes out, it makes a great misty puff as high as a house. This is the whale's blow and you can see it from far away. You can hear it too, a great puff. And if you're close enough, you can smell it as the whale's breath is stale and fishy. Blue whales can live for about 70 to 80 years. A blue whale can stay underwater for 30 minutes or more, but on long journey journeys, it usually surfaces for air every two to five minutes. Take a look inside its mouth. Don't worry, the blue whale doesn't eat people. It doesn't even have any teeth. It has hundreds of baleen plates instead. They are long, bristly things hanging from its top jaws. The whale doesn't need food for biting because its food is tiny. A blue whale can live, can have as many, nine as 790 baleen plates in its mouth. Baleen is tough, bendy stuff like extra hard fingernails. The blue whale eats krill, pale pinkish shrimp-like creatures the size of your little finger. Billions of them live in the cold seas around the North and South Poles. In summer, there can be so many that the water looks pink. So in summer, blue whales come to the polar seas to eat. It takes an awful lot of tiny krill to feed a great big blue whale, but the whale doesn't catch them one at a time. It has a special way of swallowing whole shoals of them at once. First, it takes a huge gulp of krill and salty water. There's room for all this because the whale's throat unfolds and opens up like a vast balloon. Then it uses its big tongue to push the water out between its bristly baleen plates. A 
blue whale can have as many as 88 folds of skin in its th throat. The water streams away and leaves the krill caught on the bristles like peas in a sieve. Now all the whale has to do is to lick them off and swallow them. A blue whale can eat about 30 million krill in just one day. That's, that's three big truckloads. Wow. And this is how the blue whale spends the summer, eating krill and getting fat. But in the autumn, the polar seas freeze over. The krill hide under the ice where the whale can't catch them. So the whale swims away from the icy cold and winter storms. In summer, the blue whale grows a thick layer of fat all over its body. This fat is called blubber and it's a food store for the winter when the whale eats very little. Day after day, the blue whale swims slowly and steadily towards its winter home. Its huge tail beats up and down to push it along. Its flippers steer it from left or right. For two months and more, the whale swims until at last it reaches the calm, warm seas near the equator. There it stays all winter. Some blue whales spend their summers around the South Pole and swim north to the equator for the winter. Others live at the North Pole and swim south for the summer. But when it's winter in the South Pole, it's summer in the North Pole. So the two groups of whales never meet. So when they've got to the South Pole, and there the blue whale mother gives birth to her baby, where storms and cold weather can't hurt it. The blue whale's baby slithers from her body, tail first. Gently, she nudges it to the surface to take its first breath. Then the baby dives beneath her to dives beneath her to take its first drink of milk. Male and female blue whales mate in winter and then part. Babies are born about a year later. A blue baby a blue whale baby is seven meters long at birth. It drinks six hundred litres of milk a day, sucking it from the teats tucked into its mother's belly. All through the winter, the blue whale keeps her baby close. It feeds on her creamy milk and it grows and grows. In spring, the two whales return to the polar seas to feast on krill together. But by the autumn, the young whale is big enough to live on its own. So the mother and young whale part and begin the long journey back to the equator. A blue whale may travel from polar seas to equator and back each year of its life. Sometimes it will swim with other blue whales, but mostly it will swim all alone. Yet the blue whale may not be as lonely as it seems because sometimes it makes a hum. A hum so loud and low it can travel for thousands of kilometres through the seas to reach other blue whales. Only a very low hum could travel this so far and only a very big animal could make a hum so low. Perhaps that's why blue whales are the biggest creatures on earth. So that they can talk to each other even when they are far apart. Who knows what they say? 
Here I am would be enough. Adult blue whales make their homes in deep water. It's much colder than near the surface, which helps the hum, hum, hum to travel a long way. Who knows what they say? Here I am would be enough. Because in the vastness of the green seas, even a blue whale is small and hard to find. The big 